Hello Capricorns images, then I do feel that, you know, with a high definition, it would be much easier for you to see. So let me get all the cards laid out first because I want to understand the direction in which this is going. It's also been like almost two months since I used the deck, so the cards are sticking together as well. Okay, we have some amazing cards for you guys. All right. Okay. So, let's just go over this. I feel that, you know, intuitively, um, this is jumping out at me as a... Um, love reading and I do feel for the very first time a lot of you Capricorns might be dealing with two potential partners and you're trying to make you know the best choice here so I do have a very strong uh, water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio and this is represented um, represented by the King of Cups and um, this is somebody who is very emotionally stable who is uh, has a lot of emotional depth they are wise and they operate on a very um, spiritual, highly evolved function. So um, what I mean by that is they make the best decisions based on everybody else. Uh, that's best for everybody else. And they don't really make decisions based on, you know, emotional responses for things. So they know how to keep their emotions in check. They know how to rein things in. But at the same time, they have a lot of emotional depth and maturity. So this is a very, very solid figure for you. What's crossing it here is the Ten of Coins, which is the property card. And this is usually indicative of, you know, financial abundance and also abundance within the family household. So a lot of you might be in a relationship with this person or you might have um, met somebody who is somewhat offering um, or promising a lot of financial abundance. OK, it is somebody who I feel that, you know, when a uh, an emotions card is blocked by the pentacles card. There might be some type of relationship, marriage situation, estate, or some type of hang up that is blocking this person's efforts for being from being in your life in some way. So let's go through the rest of the cards. I do feel here um, the other sign that is in the picture is showing up as an air sign. And we have the knight of swords as well as the king of swords. And I do feel for a lot of you, this might be the Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Their personality tends to be a little bit more argumentative. Um, they're very intelligent, very bright, but I do sense that in terms of emotional depth, they might, they might be a little bit lacking. They might not have the sustaining power to maintain a relationship. So for a lot of you, this might be a relationship partner, and it can be male or female. But I do feel I have the King of Cups as well as the Knight of Cups, and then I have the Knight of Swords as well as the King of Swords. So the way that I can read this in an alternate, I guess, um, slant is that you might be dealing with somebody who is very rational, but they're able to balance out that rationality with, you know, emotion. So I do feel that, you know, you're, you're dealing with somebody for, for the rest of this month, someone who is very, very level-headed, who's got your best interests at heart. And I do feel if you're looking for any kind of a consultant, you have one coming in that is very emotionally balanced. So it, either way, it, it will bode well for all of you. Um, in the past position, we have the Seven of Coins. And in this deck, the Seven of Coins indicates to me it's a situation in which both parties have um, come together and are building something of value together. Okay, so it's a, a relationship that is built on reciprocity. When it's in the reverse position, it indicates to me that um, you suffer through your bouts of unbalanced relationships. And this can be in a financial setting as well. 
you've been in situations where you've invested a lot of your time and you're waiting, waiting, waiting for that time of harvest, but for some reason it's not really coming. So this can extend as far back as like three months or six months, but I do feel this was just something that you were counting on. The, that the new year would usher in a period that will restore these imbalances in your interpersonal relationships and also in your work and business sector. Well, the universe is basically bringing that exact perfect opportunity in. And what's crowning you here is I don't even feel a lot of you have to go out of your way to seek it because with the Knight of Swords, this is a very, very fast moving energy that is coming into your life. And it is bringing in a lot of stability, a lot of emotional fulfillment, a lot of stability, a lot of financial windfall as well as a result of it. The foundation here is we have the Nine of Cups. This is ultimately the wish card. If you've been trying to restore some type of imbalances in your life, this is the time period in which it's coming in, and it is coming in in a very uh, swift, but in a very soothing manner. I don't feel there's any destabilizing energies as a result of it. Despite this Knight of Swords bringing a lot of communication back and forth, I do feel that for a lot of you, um, if you've been been dealing with you know whoever it was that caused the imbalance in the in the past, they are coming in to rectify the situation. So you don't really have to you know. Go out of your way, you step out your door and there's like, you know, text messages, communication coming in very rapidly from the other person, from an external party that is trying to right the wrongs, that is trying to make amends. And there is a very nice uh, reconciliatory energy about this. So I do feel that this, the rest of this month is going to be pretty much smooth sailing for a lot of you. So that's what I'm sensing here. Um... The wish card is indicative of, you know, um, wanting, wanting like, um, there's something that I feel that you are very much emotionally invested in, and I feel that it could be a job opportunity, it could be, you know, any type of opportunity that allows you to build, upgrade, or em enhance your life in some way, and enhance your sense of personal security, okay? So this can be a training program, an internship, a new job, something like that where it's not exactly, you know, the job would usually show up as the Ace of Pentacles, but I do feel with the Ten of Coins, the Ten of Pentacles, it's something that is very security oriented and you're trying, you're waiting on news about this situation. You are very emotionally invested in it and you're getting very swift, rapid news coming through for you that are generally very positive, okay? So it's going to be a, a very good rest of the month. Um, you know, it's perfect timing because it is your birthday time soon uh, as well. Excuse me. So I, I do hope that, you know, the, the news is everything that you've hoped for. Now, in terms of the advice here, we do have a little bit of a flake out card. This is the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. So when it comes to specific communication, I do feel that... Um, this is an energy. I'm not reading this so much as a person because the person is the king of cups and that's like the, the water sign person. This is more of an energy. I feel that you have a lot of communication coming in, potentially a lot of suitors, and you want to be very diligent about screening out, you know, who is being truthful, who is being sincere. And I do feel if you're dealing with water signs in general, they are being sincere, and you're, you're going to have to look at the situation as if, you know, think about whether or not you're ready to be re-engage, or think about all the information that is coming through. So, for example, if you're waiting to hear back from multiple jobs, um, and you're getting worried, think about, you know, the, the, the top choices, your top options, and hold out for those top options rather than taking on the first offer that comes because you're worried, okay? So that's just the energy that you can control. And this is something that you should try to just, you know, manifest positive things, think positively, think about the top choices rather than settling for, you know, a, a second-rate option, okay? External to you is the Page of Wands. And you've got a lot of people coming through. But um, the Page of Wands usually is very, very good news messages, um, people thinking about you, sending their, um, you know, their greetings, and also just generally very positive messages. And it can pertain to work projects as well, or just messages of affection, okay? So that can play out in terms of friendship, 
family members, but also in, um, I do feel that, you know, there is a very romantic vibe about this spread for the rest of this um, month. So I do feel that, you know, all kinds of messages are being exchanged back and forth. Um, the page of wands in your external environment also signifies to me that I don't feel you have to go out of your way in order to get things to roll your way. So all this communication could just be, you know, around your birthday time. Or it could just be people wanting to reach out to you in general because, you know, when the sun is in our constellation, that's when we shine the brightest. So I do feel that, you know, there's kind of an effortless energy that is bringing in really positive news to you. So it looks so phenomenal. I mean, the outcome, we have the star card. So you have two wish cards in the upright position. So this is probably one of the best spreads that I've seen for Capricorns. It looks very promising. In terms of your hopes and fears, in terms of your hopes actually, because this is also a very positive card, we have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands indicates to me this is potentially a partnership and work prior offer. Okay, so that's coming through. And I do feel it is going to be for projects as well. All right, for projects as well. So in terms of the outcome here, we have amazing, amazing cards. So we do have the Star card. And the Star is the Wish Fulfillment card. The Star indicates... Um, everything that you've dreamt of, everything you've tried to manifest, and everything that you have, you know, wanted for a really long time to come into existence in your own life, it is being um, conjured up. Well, you were the one that conjured it up. It is being delivered by the universe. So this is one of those things that indicates, you know, long-term planning. So you have both of the cards in the upright position with the wish card as your foundation. Things are going to start rolling for you in a very positive way. So Capricorns, the rest of this month, I do feel for a lot of you, is going to be very phenomenal. So once again, we have rapid, swift communication, and um, it is going to come through, I, I feel like almost in the most unexpected ways, okay? So a lot of it could happen in the time of Aquarius. So this is going to be from January 21st. And I do sense, you know, the star card is represented by uh, the sign of Aquarius. So maybe around, you know, the constellation shifting from Capricorn to uh, Aquarius, a lot of this movement is going to happen for you as well. And I do feel the, the wand's energy is a fire. It's a very fast moving energy, which is also corroborated by this air sign right here, moving in a very fast manner. So there is going to be a lot of communication coming through that is very productive for growth for business or for personal romantic relationships. I do feel another card fell out here. And, well, let's go over this one first. We do have the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords in the upright position usually indicates a, a where you're consulting somebody. I do sense that, you know, usually I read the King of... Um, the King of Swords as a consultant. This is somebody who is a freelancer who comes and goes. And I do sense if you're looking for any type of consultation or you're looking for any types of appointments, the cards are advising you actually. You do have a lot of power and you do wield a lot of knowledge, okay? This is a card about dispensing knowledge out into the world. So my advice here is you probably can do it yourself and you probably don't need their expertise as much. So have that sense of self-trust and know that you are capable of doing everything else, okay? I also feel as well that, um, you know, usually consultants, they charge for their services. There is an opportunity for you for this month, for the rest of this month actually, or coming up into February and March, to be in the limelight where you are dispensing knowledge. So a lot of you might be called upon to give some type of presentation to, um, re you know, recount your experience in a very personal fashion where, you know, you might have personal experience about with a certain country because you've traveled there and someone wants you to be a speaker and talk about your experiences there. So it can be in a public platform. So I do feel the spotlight is being shown on you, Capricorns, for the rest of this month. Um, I also feel you are going to enjoy it quite a bit and it is going to bring in a lot of potential uh, overall, okay? Um, for those of you who are dealing with a romantic partner, that is a water sign, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And for some reason, there's some type of estate planning, possibly a marriage or something like that, that is keeping them hostage, hostage or holding them up. 
I do feel that, you know, give them some space, detach a little bit um, for them to figure, sort out their own life and you move on with yours. Because I do feel that they need the time apart from you in order to sort things out for themselves and then come back to you when they are more more whole, when they are more ready. Okay, so I do sense this is an internal conflict that they have to deal with on their own. Whereas you, you're the star. You're going to shine the rest of this month. So you leave it alone and you move on to your own things. Okay, so I guess um, don't put your life on hold on account of somebody else. Let them sort out their things and then you both will come in together. So um, it's going to be a very splendid um, rest of January. So I'm very, very happy for you Capricorns. I feel that you're going to enjoy yourself quite a bit. 